great to watch on the. Ho, 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 Merry Christmas. Ah, Santa, what a great beard you've got. If you saw us on YouTube, you saw a regular version because of copyright reasons of VXC full and conversion of this and other things, you can have a Patreon or channel memberships. Up a lingo script show up and you can go check those out. And at the end of this part, we will talk about the movie and review its piano playing only. I just made up a joke in my own head. <laughs> what? That's what you it's usually terrible. do. It's terrible. This is really bad. Those are usually your jokes. You yeah. know why Mrs. Claus can't get pregnant? Why? Because Santa only comes down the chimney. Oh! But um, let's finish this movie, huh? <laughs> Gives new meaning to what you might find in your stocking, doesn't it, kids? Gross. Mommy, why's my stocking so hard? Grandma ke ghar mein family dinner karte, to ye sab nahi hota na. What you're nodding, Ron. You're too much, really. Please, baby. Forgive and forget. I'm sorry for your loss. Thank you. Or, koi bhi lady ho, padosi, secretary, ghar ki bai, hamesha madad karne ke liye tayar. Bas, baby, bahut tarif ho gayi. You are very sweet. Card do. Haan. Already? They didn't throw away his uh, wallet. They're gonna pin it on him. Mr. Ronnie ka batwa ho gaya tha. Usse bhi mention karne ko bolye. Varna baad mein hume hi blame karenge. Actually, sir, wo wallet maine jo baat. Wo jo madam ke ghar pe wo sofa hai na. Uske side mein jo baat hai. Sir, mujhe mujhe laga ki wallet ke baane mein inke ghar pe wapis jaunga aur inse dosti badaunga. Sir, when I went there, I didn't have a wallet, I had a lot of money, sir. That puts him at the scene of the crime. The wallet is on Vijay Sadapathy, and it puts him at the scene of the crime. Jerome's death was there, and after death, I was missing. It was possible that someone came to steal the house, and Jerome murdered him. I told you! My wallet was stolen and ran away. They're both in this to get Vijay. Is there something else? You were right, Lakshmi. Uska turkey ban gama again. Horny Ronnie. Hey, <laughs> Release paper, they go. Yes. Wrong wallet. Sorry, sir. Garpe bold. Kaisad me, yar. Sorry, sir. A photo copy Javangara than I am, Shamtak. Okay, sir. Annie! Aapka birdie ka hai? नहीं मिल रहा है ये चू मंत्र चू मंत्र मम्मी ने दिया मम्मी ने फिर he did Doesn't he look like Anil Kapoor because he's like his brother? Is he? Is I think that, so. Is that his brother? Yeah. Wow. What? What a ride. I liked it. What a ride. It was, I, I, I liked it. I'm giving it a gold.
Gold certified gold. It says Sanjay Kapoor, so you very well might be correct. It can't be. I mean, it's got to be his brother. Look at the way. Look at. The, I mean, just look at him. I think yeah, that's we, his brother. We have seen him before. Yeah, He's either brother or cousin or some some. Yeah, like that. Um, they look very very similar. Um, yeah, that was good. It was a fun ride. It was it kept was, you guessing the whole was, time. Um, and you're still kind of like. I bet if you watch it again, you you'll you, see stuff. You, you pick up on a lot more. Yep. And it is it, it is definitely a slow burn. Yep. Even though I thought it went quite quickly, um, it I liked did. It. I like the stuff about the movie. I like stuff like that though. Yep. In my opinion, but some like people that don't like they just want more under Honda Hun style. Yeah. Yeah, maybe. Because um, I know it, it didn't do well at the box office at all. Yeah. Um, but I know a lot of people thought it was very underrated, and I could see why. Because I actually uh, there's a lot of elements that I I really enjoy. I enjoyed because it was it kept you guessing almost the entire time. It did. Um, I thought it was also shot very uniquely. I did too. The score was very unique. Yep. The set design was really great and yep. beautiful. I thought there was a lot of great elements about the movie. I did too. <sighs> it keeps you guessing. In a lot of ways, a lot of things you think you're going to be able to predict, you can't. Mm -hmm. I thought everybody's performances were fantastic. I never doubted anybody at any moment. There weren't there weren't any moments from anybody where I I saw you know acting that pulled me out of the story. I was engaged the whole time. Lighting from the get go was really really great. Um, cinematography was really nice. Yeah, the lighting. Um I Pacing mean, was really good. Production designed by Mayur Sharma. Uh, fantastic production design on this. It was a really beautiful. Yeah. And that's along with um, lighting, uh, cinematography, Man, Man, who, I can't say that last name. Say it. Where? Cinematography. On cinematography? Uh, Madhu Nilakandan. Um, hats off. Yeah. To it. Because. I did not see a steady shot. I mean, I like very, a, a static very few shot. static I, I don't shots. I don't know if there was a static shot. In the and even if there film. was a static shot, it wasn't really fully static. Yeah, and I don't know what that. I, I've never been to film school, and that's where they really teach you about you know all your different angles and and stuff, to, so you can convey certain things to the audience that you need to convey. Um, and boy, oh boy, if this was adapted from a book, usually there's so much stuff you have you, you can't. How do you how do you take that and you know it's like an Agatha Christie novel. Uh, I'd love to know anybody who are fans of the book or know of the book how how closely this came to being what it's supposed to be. Uh, and I absolutely understand why it's called Merry Christmas. It's a Christmas movie. This is definitely a Christmas movie. That's debatable. That's debatable. You and your Christmas movie that's, ideals. That's debatable. More of a Christmas movie than Die Hard, for sure. But it falls from the same kind of thing that Die Hard does, is that just because something takes place at Christmas doesn't make it a Christmas movie. That's okay, so then what makes it a Christmas the movie? The essence of Christmas. What does that mean? I don't know. But also, I haven't, <laughs> I haven't you seen You can't it. even define it. Yeah, uh, it's Christmas is the spirit. The, the season, if you hear it. The lessons, if you hear. <laughs> Um, like I haven't seen Gremlins. I'm gonna watch it this year. I've yeah. never actually seen Gremlins, but oh, really? it's like a horrorish. It is. Apparently, people call it a Christmas movie. Yeah. So we'll see what I think of that after I see it. I've never actually seen it before, but um, I thought uh, this one was really, really nice. Um, this does, in a way, capture the spirit of Christmas in the end. How? Yeah. He gives guy it, meets girl. He each gives of into them it. Kills their no. significant other. The falls the, in love. At the end of the story, he gives into it. He knows that that ultimately she's the one who committed the murder. But when he puts the ring on her finger, it's a wink, wink, nudge, nudge. And he says, look, I still can't forget what I did. You go to jail. Your beautiful little girl has no parent because her dad is dead. I will take the fall. I wouldn't have taken the fall. And that is or that is if that doesn't embody the spirit of Christmas that I will take the fall of your guilt from you. Mm -hmm. Come on, um, it's uh, 
It's a really good film. Very e- good film. Easily currently top 10 of the year uh, for Indian cinema. Yeah, I will watch this again at um, Christmas time. I, I, this is one I'll pull out to, to if, if Indrani will enjoy this. I thought both VJ and um, uh, Karina, uh, Katrina Kaif. Uh, did very good job. <laughs> yep. I, I, I believe them. Yep. Uh, the writing is really the star here, though. Yes, it is. It uh, and the direction. Yeah. Swaram Raghavan did a great job He's directing. He's a very this good thing. director. Very good director. Um, I, have we only seen Andana in this? Is that? I think. Oh no, Badlaper. Oh yeah, Badlaper is a, him too. Very good director. He's a very good director. We've liked all and of his films. So this far. is definitely. How would you rank those though? Merry Christmas, Andana, Piano playing aside. And uh, Bad Lepur. You liked all those. I liked all of them. I think you even liked Bad Lepur more than I did. And, and I liked yeah. Bad Lepur, And you like, yeah. Uh, I know, I think I remember you saying you liked it even more than I did, though. Yeah. But, uh, special things. I'm, I'm trying to see all of his other things. If I was to rank them, <sighs> it would probably be. Uh, there's elements of this that, that were so unique and quirky that Andahan didn't have in terms of like. Production design and shots that I really appreciated. Yeah, but Andahana is such a good thriller and like a mind twist kind of yes. thriller. Yes, that would probably still be number one. But this wouldn't be too far behind. This wouldn't be too far behind. This is this is a pretty this is Hitchcockian in its level yeah. of its intelligence um, and twistings. And there's a lot of things I think he did that were Easter eggs and shout outs to old school cinema. Yeah, he did a lot of them. A lot of that. So. And, and I, this reminded me, for Katrina in particular, what was the movie that we saw last year mm. that was another kind of murder mystery thing that had Karina Kapoor, and we loved how grounded and mature it was and the, solid her um, acting was. It was the one with um, um, our two ghosts. Um, yes. Jaydeep and uh, right. Vijay Varma. Right. It's, and our and our but, our dost uh, Sujoy Josh. Yes, exactly. And I I we commented and both agreed on how much we appreciated her the maturity and the groundedness. A, a really good thespian performance, right? Yeah. I felt the same way from Katrina. I I didn't see any indicating. I didn't. I saw a very experienced actress holding her own with Vijay Sadapathy for the totality of the film. I just I thought this was. I, they've got to be happy with the finished product. And I, I don't really understand why anybody, unless these kinds of films are not your cup of tea, I get it. It is a slow burn. But just um, as far as cinema is concerned, I don't know what there is to not like about this movie. Yeah, I, uh, I really enjoyed it. Uh, let us know about his other things because he. I, there's a few that I have heard of. Ik Hasin Thai, uh, which has a Saif and Ormila in it. Uh, from 2004, I have heard about same director. So let us know. Is it horror? Just... It just says action crime drama. Okay. It's, uh, it, my suspicion is it falls into the same category as Battle of Per Andahan and Merry Christmas. Um, but and then I've also heard of uh, Johnny Johnny Gadar. I have too. I've heard of that one. I've not heard of Agent Vinod. So uh, what is? Uh, uh, let me see. Could, oh wow! Good look at this. Guy. Another one with uh, look, Safe and Karina Kapoor. Karina Safe and. Uh, um, Another is Adil. that uh, Adil Hussein? Zakir Hussein. That's that Zakir Hussein. Yeah. Uh, quite a few people. I've not heard of Agent Vinod though. Uh uh-uh. uh Um. So how are his other films? Three really good films so far. Uh, all very different too. So he's a he's a very he likes doing different kind of things. He doesn't have one specific style. Um. Because all these uh, the three, Bad Lepper. Yeah, they're all mysteries though. They are all revenge mysteries. That's true, but they're all different and with twists. Style, but they're different. Some are darker than others. Like, Some are. They, yeah, they're all mystery, but the style is different. Yeah, like you look at this style of film. Right, it does not seem right. like it would be the same director as Andahan no. Andahan or Badlapper. The core of it is very much the kind of film that we've seen him make. Mysteries. The, these mysteries with twists and turns, and somebody's dead, and who's guilty. Yeah, but but yeah, the feel of them is. Very different, very different. Um, yeah, I bet if you watch really it good. again, and I bet like there's a bunch of stuff that you know we didn't even catch um, in it. Yep. Um, but I it, it kept me like even though I call it a slow burn, it's like it went quite quick for me. But I like these style of films. Mm-hmm. I like trying to piece together what the film is. 
and when it's done well, that's what you should be doing. You should be trying to piece it together. Yeah. The director is taking you along the ride. Right. Um, and giving you clues. Yeah, with the story, obviously. Um, so I thought he did a great job with that. So I'm, I'm and excited to see a lot more. Of I stuff. also appreciated we weren't given a lot of jumps to, to reveal, oh, you missed this when it happened. Yeah. Everything just kept going straight forward. And you realized, oh. I missed that when there it was happened. A, there was a lot of symbolism of certain things that I, I do want to know people's opinions on of, like, what it means. Mm -hmm. Like, what do the goldfish mean? Yeah. Because uh, she originally said he joked about uh, their eyewitnesses. You got to throw them out. And, and she didn't. That, that That's the point. She didn't throw them out. Exactly. In other words, that is emblematic of the fact of I'm framing you for this. I want to keep the witnesses. That's what I think that that's emblematic yeah, of. That what I what I'd love to know the deeper meaning of is the origami. I think it's just like a symbolism of not a, a, you can make something look into what it's not. Like you can make something look like what it's not. It's just a piece of paper. Right. But and you can make it look like something may, that uh, it wasn't. I mean that could just be symbolism. Um directors yeah. directors love symbolism. Oh yeah. Film buffs love But it was there all the time. Film buffs loves finding symbolism. Uh <laughs> Um, and I love that that's another great sign of the film is that, it, that things weren't just spelled out for you. It wasn't even spelled out and technically in the end. No. Like you, it was all visual and audio. Yep. It wasn't like this happened, this nope. happened, this nope. happened, this happened. Uh, like there was a big confession. It, it's kind of almost still open to your interpretation it, it, a little very bit. Very much so. Obviously, I think there was a, a finite um, resolution, basically. But, uh, I mean, I think there's oh, the many things that could be open to interpretation. For sure. People can walk away from this and say, I think this has happened. The other person can say, no, I think this is what happened. And you could both be right. You could also, like, I mean, it does take a kind of like a, really, she built an entire replica of her house? Right. That's kind of far-fetched. Right. I believe, I mean, I bought into it and I thought it was fine. Well, but I, a mother having her daughter abused will go to any length. That's true. So, that's yeah. true. Yeah. Uh, I, like, I'm, I wasn't fully bothered by it, but I could see, like, how did she make an exact replica of her house? <laughs> really? An exact replica? Um, so, but I, it was fun. I enjoyed it. I I'm, did, too. I'm glad it I'd was, watch uh, it again. I'm glad it lived up to uh, what I wanted it to Me be. Me, too. Because that's exactly the kind of film I wanted it to be when I saw the trailer. Me, too. Um, I could I could see why, like, if people went in with the expectation of Unda Hunda Hun. Right. Which was a lot more fast-paced thriller. Correct. This is slow burn mystery. With with a lot more... And it doesn't have any laughs. Yeah. Unda Hun has some laughs. Yeah. Um. But yeah, I, I, again, I think it's just your. If, if you like Agatha Christie and you like Hitchcock and you like just some of the old classic 1950s and 60s, even pre that, even Battle of Murder was more, Mysteries, even Battle of Pearl was more kind of snappy in terms of like action and things happening. Yeah. But that, which is why I'm actually kind of really impressed with the director that he doesn't stick to a style. Right. Like, even like. I think Anurag is one of the most brilliant directors, but he kind of has his flavor right. of like how he likes to do things. Right. This was so different than Andahandan and Badlapur in it, terms of style. Have you ever seen have you ever seen Hitchcock's movie Rope? No, I haven't. It doesn't have it has one setting, so it's different sort of in that regard. But it is dialogue driven. Yeah. And that's this is Oh, driven, this is yeah. 100% dialogue driven with symbolism from the director speaking volumes in addition to the dialogue. But yeah. I loved the score. Also, The score cool. had yeah. a great job to do with it. So if you're not the kind of person that likes the slow, because rope is that it's a slow burn. You're wondering if anybody's going to find out something you're uh, I, I like those. So also shout out to Radha Gopte for killing her one scene that she came in for. As always, uh, don't get enough of Radha the Gopte. The queen of Indian cinema. I realize I'm the only one who says that, but that's <laughs> fine. <laughs> uh, anyways, that was fantastic. Let us know about this other director's uh, uh, films. Yeah. Uh, I've heard of Ik, Ahasantai, and the uh, the other one. Yep. Um, so let us know if those are worth a watch, slash review, watch along. Don't know. Let me know. Uh, if not, what should be our next indie watch along that we should watch? If you're seeing on you on YouTube, you're going to be a very cut version because of copyright reasons. If you like to see full and cut version of this and other Hindi films, 
You can head over to Patreon. Uh, I'll put the link in the description below, pinned comments. You can go check that out. Let us know what our next Hindi film should be. Mm. Let us know in the comments. Upvote it so I can see it. And uh, anything, uh, your thoughts on the film. Yeah. If you liked it, if you didn't like it, Why? what your theories are, Why what, we're your, done? what your opinions are. It all helps the algorithm. Let us know down below. Time to the next watch along.